Hi, welcome to TGN Tech YouTube channel. I'm Jason. All right, so today is a video to follow up on the unboxing for the ETH Search Arrester Gen 2, right? So I'll be unboxing some more units to basically show you how we actually deploy with the MX series. And I have with me a G4 Bullet as an example to show you how we would actually use it. All right, I'm sure there are some users who are curious and have not seen this before. So that's one of the reasons why we are making this video. All right, so of course we will also go into the best practice for this particular unit and how it should be done. There are some who will take some shortcuts. I'm not going to comment on that, but basically it's my responsibility to show you the full setup. Okay, I have a couple of extra units here with me today. And at the same time, I will also focus in on the search arrester to show you how we actually do it. Okay, now you have to be very sure which one is going to be your in cable and your out cable, right? Because this is basically to prevent any search to destroy your front end equipment or your back end equipment, all right? Because search can come both ways, be it from ESD or it could be lightning strike or it could be a power search when you have a power trip and when the power comes back on, it will come in a very fast and furious way, okay? So let's, let me open up one unit to use for our demonstration today, okay? Let me put this aside, right. As per my unboxing of the unit, all right, you will see that there is a plastic cover. Remove it. Okay. Once you have removed it, put it aside. Remove the cover. Put the screw aside. Okay, so the screw is basically for you to secure the unit itself so that you can basically mount it to the wall. Alright. So if you're gonna pull mount it when you're exterior, flip it around. Okay, you can use a cable tie or stainless steel bracket and mount it on your pole like I have here over here all right so this is one of the ways but I'm not going to do the cabling and the cable tie today mainly I'm going to show you what you're going to do with the Ethernet ports on the search arrester okay so be very careful about the search arrester where it says there is ether there is the wording for ether in and ether out okay so you gotta know which one is gonna be your in and out. So over here, you can use a black marker or blue marker to mark it, to know which one is gonna be your in and which one's gonna be your out, all right? For today's demonstration, I actually have it in different colors for the cables, so you will know, okay? And while I'm doing it, I will definitely explain to you what's being done, right? On the table here, I have also the USW Flex, right? This is a layer two outdoor five port switch. Okay, so this is also a very good solution. Some of you may have seen it and understand how it's being done. All right, so this goes well whether we have an outdoor AP on a unified platform or a unified protect camera. Okay, right, so we'll leave that for the next video that we may do. Okay, so now for the MX series where we have done the unboxing for the Nano Station M5, it actually uses a 24 volt passive PoE to power it up. All right, so what happens is you have to protect the electrical equipment prior to the nano station, which will be placed outdoor at the highest point where you will be placing the nano station. All right, so from the nano station, you will actually have a cable out to connect to the injector. All right, so the practice would be to actually connect and secure the nano station with the search arrester, like I've done here so, okay? So this is going to go out to the nano station and coming in, all right? So it will go into the injector. So in this case, I'm just going to use a short blue cable to connect to the search arrester, okay? Like so, and it will connect to the PoE port, okay? So you'll see here, I've actually connected the nano station into the search arrester and to the PoE port of the injector in this case. All right. And what's going to happen is after the injector is out, this is where you connect to your LAN port or your data. Okay. So now in the case, if you have actually, if you are actually deploying a camera per se, okay, the camera will be powered similarly by a PoE injector. All right. So the injector will have to be protected at the same time. So in this case, we will need to have an additional unit where we will, hang on, where we will have to also similarly protect the camera. 
Okay, let me show it to you. Okay, so now this is the camera um, search arrester. So we have the search arrester prote to protect the nano station, and right now we have another search arrester to protect the camera. Okay, so let me remove this from its prote plastic protection. Okay, so right now we have two units um, to demonstrate our solution today. Let me throw this aside. And as I remove the cover, okay, I'm going to go and place all this here for you. See, this is our complete solution in a sense that we have protect the nano station and we will also similarly be protecting the camera. Okay, so in this case for the camera, I'll be using a white cable. All right. Let me place it here. Now, do we connect directly to the search arrester or do we connect to the PO injector? All right. If you were to look at my previous example, where we have done is we have connected the search arrester to protect okay, any electrical equipment after the PO injector. So what's going to happen is you have to connect it to a search arrester first. Okay. Now, by doing this, we are also similarly protecting the camera in case the search comes back from the power point. You get it? Okay. So in case if there was a blackout and or brownout and the power comes back on and if you do not have a UPS to protect the, the power, all right, the search will be able to protect in case of overpowering the camera. Okay. So over here, I'm going to use another cable. All right, uh, I shouldn't use white. Let me use another black cable. Right, so the black cable, I'm just going to connect Now in this case, it's going to be the one that's going to the PoE. Get it now? All right. So that's where it goes in. Okay. So you will have the search arrester to protect the camera at the same time. Okay. Now in terms of connecting, what's going to happen is you can then connect both the LAN ports. Okay. After you have configured your nano station to a bridge to com communicate with your main network, all right? Then there, you can see that, yes, there's a lot of cables, it's very messy, but if all that is done well, all right, you will know what's happening, okay? So what's gonna happen is the nano station is gonna get a gift network connection for the camera, all right? So that's how it works. And we have actually protected both the nano station and the camera at the same time all right so this basically shows you how the connection is being done for both the injectors and the internet search protectors okay so these are the connections all right so in any case if you have any questions with regards to today's demonstration all right please let us know leave a remark or comment and we will definitely get back to you right if you do enjoy this video, please remember to click like and share our channel. And at the same time, if you have any requests, do let us know. We will try our best to fulfill it for you. Thank you very much.